Hi Sunshines, welcome back to our channel Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And mom, tell them what we're going to be doing in this video today, why we are here. Today, I, well I made a joke first of all. I said that we are like those sales like this time of year or all throughout the year. Okay, they have a Memorial Day sale, they roll up those same old um, dryers and washing machines. <laughs> and then for Labor Day they switch it up and they roll out the washing machine and then the dryer. And then you, you they have Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday. And, and Easter sales. And Easter sales and, and Christmas <laughs> Eve sales. And Black Friday sales and, and they Earth keep, Day sales. They keep rolling out the same old junk from the store, okay? And they you send you the flyers in the mail, you see it online. Oh, oh, anyway, this is what um, Mad Curls is doing, it seems like lately. Keep rolling out these same old products by these same old brand because they work. They work. And okay. we, we categorize them differently, as we said in one of our other mm -hmm. videos. Like, it's just easy um, for you to find. Like, you know, if you're asking a question, it's like, yes. let me see if, like, there's an actual video on it. Yes. So we just categorize things differently. Because you guys keep asking the same old dried up questions. Yeah. So we keep rolling out the same old dried up products because they simply work. But today, seriously, what we're going to do is, um, with these products, now we're picking out our favorites in what we know is a successful wash and go. It's really weird weather in Connecticut. Normally this time of year it's beautiful fall foliage and the leaves are beautiful and um, everything just falls into place but it's not. One day we're carrying an umbrella that was today torrential, torrential, torrential rains. Yesterday it was 80 degrees. I was, I was glistening. Okay. I'm hot, hot, It hot, felt like hot, summer hot. again. You were like yeah. so dramatic. You're like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Yeah, I'm and like, next year I have to move to Alaska. I can't take the heat. It reminded Alaska. me, oh, I barely made it through the summer. And then, um, and then it's freezing cold, like 50 degrees. It's just, it's yeah. just crazy. So now it's about that my time of year. My hair can't keep up. Yes. <laughs> Yes, she's in one of those old moods today, guys, because we're doing a video on how to protect our hair. We're going to give you tips in this video. Yeah, how to protect your hair in the winter. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is moisture. And I'm like, how am I sitting here with all this dry hair right now? It's like in a moisture video. I'm but like, I don't know. But it's not but my fault. You will. I decided to sit. I, I I was not told to sit. I decided to sit. Yes, I know because this like you like you said to me the other day. You knew this was coming today, so here we sit. I know this is like some sort of payback because she acted like she didn't know we were vlogging the other day, and so she was all mad that I had the vlog camera in her face and she didn't have any make fun. Because you woo, didn't woo, give woo. me a chance to do my two-hour concealer, oh. and so there I was in the car, dark circles, bags <laughs> under my eyes, and the camera was rolling. You but didn't I had care told what her. I, said. I gave her 24 hours notice. I'm like, Mom, tomorrow we're vlogging. You didn't care what I said, how I looked. I was running out with my little <laughs> concealer crayon. I have, well, I have a gazillion. You know, I have to pick up a litter over here. I have a million different concealer pencils, but nope, I didn't even have time. Here yeah, they all go different complexions, whatever. And I just kind of like swipe it at but, her. But she knew, so no, I guess, no like, time. she didn't care how much I protested today that my, mm -hmm. that because we were out in the torrential rain, um, we were in Walmart. You said something about the metal in the ceiling. I don't know, but my hair is very, yes, the very rain on the dry. Tin, on the tin roof. Yeah, I can, and I you did not care. It. You were like, so we're doing this video. I detected like a mood and I just completely ignored it. <laughs> but I'm like, every now and then I say, tell you okay? Um, tell you feel okay? I'm like, is, is anything bothering you? Did I do anything? You know, just beg. You know, mother's beg and pleading. But I, but I kind of knew. I know, I know what it is, guys. We're going to have a talk, okay? I know what it is, but can't say right now because she's here. <laughs> Y'all DM it's me. When, <laughs> it's when you think you know what the deal is, but you really don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't, I you know. don't really know. Okay. A, a right. mother knows, a okay. woman knows. And then once you tell me like what you think is wrong with me, I tell you, Mom, that's not the reason. You still say, no, that's what's wrong Yeah, I'm like, no, the 50 years of wisdom here, it's exactly what's wrong. Okay. All right. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> What's our new word? Like, or like all the channels that we watch, they always say, we digress. We digress. I, I well, it's typically it's I digress because it's one of them, but mm -hmm. we digress. We digress. Okay. Right. So this okay. video is, um, winter is coming and, mm -hmm. um. We might be a little bit early with this video, but you know, you gotta stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. Well, only because the topic keeps appearing and it's not that we're early, it's just that we're we're just getting things in preparation and, and us product junkies like to, to know these things if we see them on the shelves because they are on the shelves, mm -hmm. but we've learned that in the summertime some things don't work and in the wintertime they do. So as we do wash and goes all throughout the year, we can't really necessarily be seasonal, but we do know what it's worked. We've been out here, what, about a year and a half now on the channel and yeah. so we do know we've had one summer here, almost kind of like two, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we started in the summer. Yeah, yeah. so we know it works. It's not, I don't want to really label it favorites because I have to get yeah. that Memorial Day, Labor Day, wheeling out the washing machine and dryer attitude. Have to yeah. try to flip I it, wouldn't change say it up a these are bit. favorites. I mean, I, we do have our favorites amongst, amongst these, these, but right. these are just things that will, um, products that will help you during the winter time, different right. phases of your wash day or your styling yes. or whatever, um, protection at night. So we're basically here with products 
and tips and tricks for mm -hmm. the winter time. Yeah, because you'll notice that the things that you use in the summertime won't necessarily work in the winter. And so those things, when we did the glycerin free video, we had to remove some of our favorites that we found worked for us um, in the winter. So now we're kind of like bringing back some of the things that worked our year of experience, two years of experience. Yeah. And we're ready to present them to you. That's what's going down. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to see some of our winter favorites, here's some of our winter natural hair tips and tricks, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. So we are going to start with the beginning of our wash days. One of the things that we read is that in the winter time, you want to wash your hair as less as possible. Mm -hmm. So you don't like strip your hair, you know, so we wash it like once a week, shampoo every like other week, that okay. kind of thing. They do also stress co-washing. Yes. Yes. They really emphasize co-washing mm -hmm. and they, if you're going to shampoo, we probably shouldn't use the word shampoo as a blanket statement. We probably said this is the section where we would begin with cleansing our hair. What your method of cleansing, whether it's co-wash or uh, shampooing, if it's co-wash, fabulous because the more moisture in your hair during the winter, the better. Yeah. If it is cleansing, then you want to do a light poo and different brands have what they refer to as a light, light, light lather. So yeah. it's not as thick. You know how sometimes you put that shampoo in your hair and you just can kind of like pull it out. You seem like you can't pull it out enough. No matter how much you rinse, it is just kind of like there. That's like really heavy duty lather. The ones that we're going to show you here in this cleansing section will be basically co-washes. And then if we're going to cross over to shampoo, it's going to be very light lather. Or sulfate free. Or sulfate they talk free. About, they talk about sulfate free. Yes. Okay. Okay. So starting with co-washes, which isn't really hard for me in the winter time because I co-wash all year round. Yes. I love me some co-washes. Mm -hmm. So just to name a few, you have your co-washes ready? I do, I believe. Oh. Yes. Okay. So I'll start with one of my favorite co-washes is the Aussie Miracle Curls co-wash. $3. Really love this. This is a great co-wash. Okay. Affordable. All right, mine is, um, you can order it online at curljunkie.com and this is Daily Fix. This is a cleansing hair conditioner, so it's a co-wash. Mm -hmm. I've been using this for years and I love it. So, um, another one, yeah. <laughs> were you done? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Okay, another one is the As I Am Coconut Co-wash. Mentioned this tons of, um, on the channel. This is another great one, As I Am. Okay, and I switched between these two and so, of course, nobody's surprised here, Camille Rose Naturals Creme Restore. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like something, you like it. If it works, it works. Why? Don't fix what's not broken. So this right here, Camille Rose Naturals Creme Restore, for those that are tuning in new to our channel because we are getting new uh, subscribers. Hi. Okay. Um, this <laughs> is very difficult to find. When you find it, grab it, snatch it order more than one because mm -hmm. they I don't know why they don't they don't see the popularity of it or it's rising and they don't keep it stocked they just simply don't so um, they're doing better though now than they were when I first started talking about it probably yeah. about six months ago so it does come in and, and go from time to time and people have been getting it but anyway love this love this I mean, most crumb restores it's amazing yes. and it smells amazing it smells amazing all of her things do though yeah yeah so uh, another one that I like is the Cantu Complete Conditioning Co-Wash. Another one that is affordable, great slip. Okay, any more you have? I don't uh, because, uh, like I said, if it works, it works. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Just the, the next things I have are low lather. Okay. 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 Um, oh, visitor, hold on. Oh, please. Hey, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, so one last co-wash honorable mention, um, cause it, just because it wasn't in our week of favorites, we have a week of favorites, there's a cleanser one if you want to see some more of our favorite like co-washes that's in that video, but this one I don't believe was in there because we tried it after, but the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk 3-in-1 Conditioner, I love this as a co-wash, it's amazing, so this one's good too. Yep. All right, moving on. Okay, so now we are in the categories of either sulfate free, so it's not necessarily going to be um, low lather or like little sudsies or it's going to be low lather or gentle cleansing. Yeah, so like shampoos because some people don't co-wash. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Not so, sorry. yep. So first off again, once again, this is Curl Junkie. I don't know if I've mentioned it um, on the channel. Maybe when I did the whole Curl Junkie line on the channel, this was part of my huge basket of all my products, but this I do use. It's almost like a uh, yes, it's clarifying conditioning, but it doesn't act like a clarifying. It is a very, very, very light lathering shampoo and it gets the job done um more What's so cool this i'm sorry this is curl junkies curl assurance gentle cleansing shampoo 
So um, you can use this like if you use co washes a lot and then you want to kind of get that shampoo feeling or that low lather feeling. This is it right here. It doesn't have much lather, but it, your hair definitely feels clean after you use this. Okay. Okay. All right. And my favorite shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to shampoo and conditioner, I'm going to grab these. This is the As I Am Long and Luxe, the strengthening shampoo and conditioner. Both of these are sulfate free and they say hydrating hair wash, hydrating treatment. So these, um, this is a great shampoo and conditioner combo. It won't strip your hair. And that's why I love it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, and all right. So then the next one I will use at, from time to time is the Weed Ag Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil. This is no stranger to the channel. I've mentioned this ever since I got my hands on this. And I love this. This is kind of like I've been talking about this all year long. So I do love this. And the benefit of this is what it's sulfate free. Mm -hmm. You look like I had this when I put this on the table. You're like, what is this? And I'm like, yeah, I had yeah. to look. I'm like, is it sulfate free? And it does yeah. say on the back, sulfate free. Yeah. So. But it is uh, moisturizing. Very moist. Yeah, mean, nourishing oil. It's cleanser. A, it's good. It's a strange kind of um of a shampoo. It's it's wonderful. It's a cleansing oil. And there are other people have jumped on the cleansing oil kind of. Um, Days, wave. but wave, but it doesn't quite feel the same. This, mm -hmm. There's something unique about this weed ad one, and I love this. Yeah. So, yep, this is what I will kind of switch out every now and then. All right, and, and the last shampoo and conditioner combo that I actually just tried the other day, and I was totally pleasantly surprised because you guys know, like, I haven't found a lot of products I like in this brand, yeah. if any, but the new Myel. The pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling shampoo and conditioner. I just tried this for the first time the other day, and it is right up there with the As I Am Long and Lux for me. So I'll either be reaching for these or reaching for the As I Am. The slip on the conditioner is like unmatched. Really? It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, it was like a day six wash and go. My hair was really tangled, really wow. dry, and this, like the my brush was just going through, and so. They nailed it. With so these. you you shampooed it first, and yep. did it um, do any? Did it have any sort of a slip? You know, sometimes I like to detangle with my shampoo. A little bit, a I little did. bit, yeah, okay. a little bit. But um, I was like, you know what? I want to go in with the conditioner to detangle. Awesome. So, but when I rinsed out the the shampoo, my hair didn't feel like hay or okay. didn't feel dry, and then the the conditioner just brought it home. Okay. So really, really amazing combo. If you can get your hands on these. All right. Should I? I didn't because they weren't set, but there was. I, I do have a category of conditioners here. Is this the time to kind of like mention them? Oh, um, or we're gonna because like you've been doing shampoo and conditioner. I don't have like the matching conditioners to the shampoos that I use that stand out. You know, no, because we're gonna go into leave ins. Okay, that kind of, unless you have a conditioner that's not a leave in. I do. Oh, okay. Okay, are, how, are we gonna do deep conditioners as well? Yeah, we're okay. going into deep conditioners next. Okay, so then maybe we're then, not organized. Okay, all right, you know, I know, <laughs> I know bless our hearts okay so um that yeah I think that, that, should be, that, that should be about it okay <laughs> um also while we're here talking about cleansing there was um they did mention pre-pooing which we don't really do but i guess in the winter it's good before you shampoo because again shampoos can be drying but if you okay. pre-poo your hair with your favorite conditioner or oil that's like I would so right now before I wash my hair, I would put my favorite conditioner or oil on my hair, maybe detangle with it or let it sit, and then I would go in and wash my hair. I guess it just um, lessens like the, the damage, quote unquote, from shampooing, or it stops some of the dryness or maybe the breakage that might come from shampooing. It's some people pre poo. We had a whole conversation on live one we time did. for we like did. an hour about pre pooing. Um, it's either you're into it or you're not into it. I might dibble and dabble this winter if my hair is really really dry, but they were saying it's a good thing to do to pre poo your hair before you so use a shampoo. conditioner and oil so would you for instance put conditioner in your hand or however you would apply it and put a drop that's oil how in I it? did it the one time I did it is I took some Aussie or I either took some Aussie or I took some deep conditioner and I like put some oil in it and I like okay. ran it through my dry hair and okay. I let it kind of hang out and then I shampooed it out and I guess it's supposed to like lessen the drying effects of shampoo you guys answered this down in the comments because um you hate to be inundated with questions and, and i don't know so um getting shampoo i'm uh, getting conditioner in your hand and dribbling it with oil and pre pooing with that isn't conditioner and oil deep conditioner can you pre poo with deep conditioner is that the same thing Probably, am i right? splitting hairs here i mean it's a conditioner yeah right why would you need I think to something pre pool with a deep conditioner if you're gonna rinse it out and then you're gonna deep condition your hair? Because like, it's supposed it it's supposed to lessen the damage that's coming okay. from shampooing and not like damage like you're damaging your hair, but like the dryness. Okay, so you and the stripping of your hair. You pre uh, people knowledgeable on pre pooing, let us know if it's the same thing. First of all, if it's the same thing, 
a regular conditioner, so to speak, a regular conditioner, because all of these in the natural hair community from time to time, they really stress moisturization. So can you pick up a regular conditioner and drop oil in it, and that's pre-poo worthy, or can you just grab a deep conditioner, which is considered a very nourishing, moisturizing conditioner, and put that in, that's kind of weird to me. But Let anyway. us know. But Let either way, know. it's supposed to help with okay. before you shampoo. Yes. And I think that's all I have on the, the, the cleansing and all okay. that kind of stuff, the notes I have. Yes. Okay. So, um, washing less, co-washes, sulfate-free shampoos, pre-pooing, all that for okay. cleansing in the wintertime. Um, moving on to deep conditioners. Absolutely. Okay, so moving on to deep conditioning. If you are a natural and you don't currently deep condition your hair regularly, you definitely want to get on that train, especially <laughs> in the winter time. Yeah. Because you're going to want to deep condition your hair. And on a website, I'll link the websites where like, I was reading all this stuff mm -hmm. down below. But one of them said to deep condition your hair bi-weekly. And of course, when I said that to you, you split every <laughs> hair in the world. You were like, well, do they mean every two weeks or does that mean twice a week and it's just always a question i'm just like mom <laughs> and it means both actually it does i was like mm -hmm. well to me bi-weekly means every other week and i was like but that doesn't make sense if you want your hair to be really moisturized like why would you deep condition your hair every other week yeah that, i know that wouldn't work for my hair so we looked it up and it did say it could mean twice a week or every other week for me i'm going on the twice a week Wave, okay. if I'm gonna do it this is twice the season a week. if you don't do it any other time of year and I do hope you do if you are in the natural community you just have to deep condition that's the main thing that I learned before I big chopped to try to salvage my hair and it just didn't work sometimes it's just way too far gone because we do too much damage to our hair so mm -hmm. it has to be big chopped or it has to be transitioned and slightly cut off but it's got to go mm -hmm. at some point somehow some way so but deep conditioner is really the holy grail of the of the natural community that's what kind of puts the moisture into your hair yes. so that if you're not doing it now you must you must deep condition your hair to keep the length the health of your hair you've got to deep condition your hair all of that yeah so we are here now with our favorite deep conditioner some mm -hmm. deep conditioners that we will be using this winter I have I brought four over here okay you got? I have one two oh, well, that's that that's leaving okay. okay one two three you have four, four. Two. I have four two, uh, five you have five I have four, girl. okay <laughs> should I start why not okay so I'm just going to hold up my first one, my favorite, the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. This can be done in the shower, super quick, super cheap. I love this. This makes my hair feel like butter, super moisturized. I use it every wash day, so this will carry me through the winter as it carries me through every season. Love this one. Okay. So the first one I'll hold up. Why not? Curl Junkie. This is Curl Rehab. I've been using this for absolute years. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh, I didn't bring my other one over here from Sotanicals. Oh my god. Well, I'll grab it my next time around but yeah so curl we have Which comes in that it um my afro test oh, okay you keep talking <laughs> okay it comes in two um flavors no two scents this one is my favorite one this is the um what is it, gardenia and coconut scent love this so it would be the orange label and then they have a strawberry ice cream one that i think maybe is the longest standing one of, of this collection like the curl we have one but i love it and been using it for years and it does the trick and talk about slip 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 so it just goes through your hair so slip 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 guys slip okay slide. um i love the shea moisture masks and deep conditioners so mm -hmm. two that i'll be using this winter my, my number one my absolute favorite is the manuka honey and mafur oil intensive hair mask i've put a lot of you guys onto this this is amazing I will be using this throughout the winter. And my second favorite one from Shea Moisture is the Super Fruit Complex, the 10-in-1 renewal system with marula oil and biotin. These two are great Shea Moisture masks. Okay. Great deep conditioners. Okay, okay. My next favorite is Camille Rose Naturals. This is the Algae Renew. I love this so much. And if you put highlights in your hair you have to deep conditioner yeah uh, di deep conditioner deep condition mm -hmm. when we went to the salon I actually bought my own conditioner because I didn't know if they would have anything there moisturizing enough it was a white salon and I didn't know if they would so just to be on the safe side I actually bought this and I you saw actually see me in the salon uh, putting this putting in my hair in, yeah. right after however I found same brand I feel to me this is not marketed as a deep conditioner to me Janssen's is just absolutely a deep conditioner in my opinion it is so thick so rich smells equally as good mm -hmm. 
slip out of this world and it's moisture it's Janssen's moisture max conditioner not to be confused with the soylicious two entirely different conditioners but this is a conditioner and it is to be put in and rinsed out. However, I when I use this, I actually like this better than the LGV New. To me, this did the trick. This is enough for me as a deep conditioner. Mm -hmm. So, um, yep. So equally, these two Alrighty. are my deep conditioners from this line. Okay, and the last deep conditioner that I have that I really like is the Cantu TXTR uh, Strengthen and Restore Moisture Mask. This had great slip when I used it in the shower. Just kind of let it sit. Um, even though it says use for 15 minutes, but they let it sit for a little bit. But this is a great deep conditioner mask as well for the winter time. Can't do TXTR. Okay. All right. And then last year I was pleasantly surprised with Carol's daughter, believe it or not, the Rasu Clay. I love this. I have repeatedly bought this. Oh, it smells so good. It just smells kind of like it's earthy smell. It's like clay. It smells so good. It now they do have a whole line. The shampoo is sulfate free. I didn't bring it in here because I don't necessarily gravitate towards it, but it's the shampoo there is a regular conditioner you put in you rinse out sometimes I put in and I leave in because I do what I want to do and, and I like that but I didn't bring that in to give you guys bad habits if that's a bad habit but this is a mask and um, I love the softening hair mask it says softening hair mask but some of the highlights is to replenish moisture and that's what I needed to see and it does it really really does I think I learned it from a channel we've got to get better because you guys ask us all the time who do we watch and we say like we say we watch drama channels but we do dibble and dabble out of regular channels sometimes or the you know the natural hair community and I can never remember the names but I did see a type 4 channel one time using this and her hair was beautiful it was like down her back and she put this in the shower shower scenes guys and maybe that's why i didn't remember <laughs> but anyway shower scene and her hair was beautiful at the end and she did her hair like once a week and this is what she did put in her hair and so i went right out to the store the way you guys go right out to the store when we tell you something i went right out found it and there i was next in my own shower scene putting this in so um here <laughs> <laughs> so yep the rasu play Carol's daughter. Okay. Yeah. So again, they say bi-weekly, take with that, take from that what you will. For me, twice a week, you kick it up because typically I deep condition once a week. So I guess in the wintertime, kick it up, do it twice a week or, you know, do it every other week. Whatever, have, whatever makes you happy. Just make sure you're deep conditioning. It does make a difference. Oh, you have another one? I forgot to mention, um, actually I have two. Uh, so Tanicles, yeah. Afrotastic, you guys know this, but for those that are just finding this video and have never been on the channel before, this is really my holy grail that my holy grail before this was whatever that means what is the holy grail actually and what like, does it mean like the best thing ever HG, like your holy, holy grail, grail your holy like grail like what you can't live without mm. it's the it's the holy nothing of, really is like that to me because my opinion can be swayed from you're fickle no i actually no i'm not fickle i'm really um steadfast in my ways and you my, are you are true i, I really would you am. say you want on your tombstone not to be macabre um, but you're like all she wanted was loyalty all she wanted was loyalty, loyalty. yes exactly. <laughs> that's all i want if you're loyal if you're loyal to me you're loyal I'm a loyalist, okay? Yeah. All right, so anyway, aside from all of that loyalty, um, Afrotastic, I love it. From the very first moment I've used it, there's plenty of conditioners in the Sotanicals line, and each and every one is excellent. But this one, for some reason, stands out to me, and they all... <laughs> They all are fabulous. Mm -hmm. So, but this one I love, yeah, and so this is the one I use, and this is the one that kind of like knocked Curl Junkie out the way if you will but um no i still reach for that that's why um it was actually the first one I, I mentioned today but nope this one definitely rivals that one or actually kicked it out the way slightly for me and then this one an og one this is um the mixed chips mix mix mixed chicks, chicks deep conditioner i like it number one because the color is white and this is what i used to use when i highlighted my hair and we get that kind of coppery um brassy look i would use this my diy not kind of like pushing it never showed anything on the channel about it because it's my own thing and if you guys here turn blue or purple you know you're not coming for me but i did my own thing and so i had highlights in my hair and i wanted to tone them and so i put, mixed this with blue food coloring not purple but blue and it, my hair went right back to it took the brass out it's temporary though. it's very temporary, it's temporary and when i told my stylist about it she was like hey whatever works but it is very temporary so the first day it's a kind of little extra dark or you can barely kind of like see the highlights but they're there and then the next day um they're getting better the third day beautiful and by the fourth day they're kind of like you know 
Yeah, I mean, you can see a little brass peeking through, but it works. Yeah, it works. So, but if you are someone who's thinking about highlighting your hair, and like we always get DMs, people asking us about how we highlighted our hair. The main thing is deep conditioning. Yes. After you get it done, go yeah. to a professional and deep condition your hair. Deep condition your hair. Absolutely. Um, go to a professional. What's also mentioned around the deep conditioning is steaming your hair, which we were doing with the Q Redo steamer. But if you've seen our previous videos, you know, like they don't really last. So we don't have a working steamer right now. I believe there was like a Kiss Pro one. That's like one you sit under that was mentioned. But we should get a steamer because to me, there is a difference between just, you know, deep conditioning your hair, walking around the house, letting it sit, and actually putting some uh, moisture, some steam to your hair. My hair was always um, softer, more moisturized, so we need to get a steamer. No, what, well, what, yeah, we do, but correction, we don't need to get a steamer. We had two steamers, not one, but two steamers, Q we do, and they don't last. Yeah, and we're not the so only we need one. one. So they really need to fix that, because people are paying top dollar. Now, granted, we did not. They sent them to us, and we used them, and everybody else was going out and buying them because of how fabulous they were and how we showed you how to use them and all of that influencers okay but the thing is that they don't last how disappointing i remember being in my grinch pajamas you guys all know the grinch pajamas and steaming my hair you were steaming my hair and a year like less than a year later they're broken and so then we did all the tricks um the the, the vinegar water, the vinegar we yeah. even put we even let the vinegar sit for a week when we went to georgia during the summer and we came back so excited to think we'd see the steam back up it never did yeah. now We'll take responsibility for the part that we were supposed to use distilled water. We we did read it. We didn't think sometimes when you read things that it's that serious, but I guess it, obviously it was, and I don't know if anybody else did take it as seriously as we did not. Although there have been people who said that they've used distilled water. Some people were using Fiji water, fancy water, you know, wow. all the different types of water, and they're still broke within mm -hmm. a year. So I think they're fabulous tools. Yes. They really are amazing, yes. but they, they just don't. Yeah. Sturdy easy to use i was so intimidated when i first saw you i think the little reservoir they call mm -hmm. beautiful it worked great yeah but wow they just don't so last. if you don't get a cure redo some type of steamer we have yes. to get on that and so we can tell you guys like you know what we got and what we use because they're yes. definitely they do stress like steaming yeah. they say the steaming the, the moisture yeah. you know um yeah you used to do my hair you always did your own and i didn't know how to do it and you sat me down one day yeah and and you did my hair yeah, the moist I air i love yes. steaming my yeah. hair um, so they do say that too, along with deep conditioning. Okay, and one last one I don't want to forget because it's something I um, got to do this year. This was the Weedat Curl Immersion. Mm -hmm. So I love this. Um, it's I think I think it was marketed maybe for fours, but I don't I don't necessarily like when brands do that. Like specify what curl type. I think it's good for for marketing purposes and for buying purposes. But other than that, you know, do you do what works for you? And yeah. this works for me. I mm -hmm. love this. So this is I call it the Purple Line Curl Immersion. And also the, the nourishing one. I should have grabbed that while I was grabbing yeah, that one. Yeah. The Weedad nourishing one. They right. came out. You showed the nourishing shampoo. Yes. The nourishing mask is a great one too. That's your favorite. Yeah. Um, and this one is mine. Even though that came out after this one, this one still remains my yeah. top one out of Weedad condition deep we, conditioners. We do have a macros week of favorites. We do have a deep conditioning video strictly mm -hmm. about deep conditioners and masks. So go check that video out if you want to see more. Yes. Hear more about other deep conditioners and masks that yes. we like. Yep. Okay. So now we're going to moving on to stylers. We're going to start with um what is it leave-ins because sometimes you know what you use in the summer doesn't always work in the winter right vice versa so we're going to talk about some leave-ins and stylers that work for us in the winter time that we like to use okay so um so i think mine probably across the board would work because um they're here now mm -hmm. and i think i'm going to use them in the winter and i've been using them in the summertime so i'm sure that they'll work i got into this i can't stand when it's empty here so i have to make it look like it's full okay but this is Soltanicals, not sauce, coil detangler. Maybe it's a detangler. I know it's a fat. It not maybe. It, it it absolutely is a detangler, and I do use it as a leave-in. It smells great. It works phenomenally. My hair was so tangled, and I grabbed this, and the tangles just melted away. They say dry or wet. I don't know. I've never tried dry, but definitely wet. So this is a leave-in, a detangler, whatever. But I love this as a yeah. as a leave-in in my hair. Soltanicals leave-ins. I'm sorry. Soltanicals conditioners and deep conditioners. Yeah. Period are very moisturizing, which yes. is um, the bottom line here with all these products we're getting ready to mention is moisture. Yes. They're very moisturizing. Right. So that product is moisturizing yeah it's even good. though i look for the word moisture because i want to really emphasize that with our audience but it doesn't necessarily say moisture, it's like thick though but so like thick products i feel like we yes, reach for in the winter time it's creamy but yeah the next one is compared to this in the same line that says it's even more moisturizing than our not sauce so obviously they 
want you to understand that this is moisturizing, but now the next one I'll show you will kick it up enough for, mm -hmm. in the moisture. Okay. Yeah. So right. the one I'm going to show, one of the ones I'm going to show is the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go, the Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. Yes. We've mentioned this a lot on the channel. I love this. Um, this is a more, this is a lighter, I would say, leave-in. Like it doesn't come out thick and chunky and creamy, but it is moisturizing and it has amazing slip. And under, you know, a cream, I think this is a great leave-in. So the Jane Carter. And because I'm me and because I do what I do and I'm very detailed, people have compared that to Kinky Curly, mm -hmm. um, not today. Yeah. And we don't see the similarities at all other than the color, perhaps in the shape, shape of the bottle, the yeah. size of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Yes, I could see what you're saying. I can kind of see that. But I, to me, I think they're night and day. I think they're two, dif they're two different leave-ins and this one we tend to favor a little bit more yes yeah although when i was like just looking for like good products for the winter time the kinky curly is in the lineup the oh, kinky yeah. curly leave-in so yes. if you have that we it have it the, it's just not here it was in right the summer now. line um yeah it was in the summer lineup mm -hmm. for the um uh, what was the humidity um what anti, was it? anti okay, or yeah, yeah no glycerin yeah, no video. glycerin right yeah. so it's no glycerin so yeah it fits in a few categories so it is a fabulous one mm -hmm. um, we're tired of jumping up because of our bad memories jumping up and grabbing things but kinky curly definitely could yeah. go here but i was just saying in in, in regards to the similarities of the, those I don't, two we don't think they're similar we don't think they're similar other than the color of the bottles basically the yeah. size of them the color of the product slightly yeah um yeah but they stand on their own they're both equally um i guess as good depending on who you are and what you're looking for mm -hmm. so this works for us that might work for somebody else and they might stand by and swear by that one but they're both Fabulous you were brands. swearing by it in the video, but that's because you have something else underneath. <laughs> yes, I like, sure did. It has so much slip. I and, know. Uh, I know. I had to confess my sins. Which one do I? Oh, I threw it so far away, guys. I can't get it, but that was the Jansen. The Jansen. Because the the um, we were elbows. in the video. Watch the Kiki Curly video. We were in the video. I'm like, Ma, I don't think this has slip. And you were like, it has so much slip. Oh my gosh, so much slip. And there really wasn't like that much slip. But you had another product underneath that was causing it to be slipperier than it actually was. It was, because I had just... I don't know if I had just gotten it, but I just knew that at that point in my life, I was always co-washing my hair and then just going automatically in with Jansen's and then kind of lightly rinsing. I liked that feel of the Jansen's in my hair. And so maybe I just didn't, maybe I, I rinsed it a little lighter than I should have. So there definitely was some Jansen's in there yeah. under that one. I'm, yeah, yes. I don't know, girl. Yeah. But. Okay, so now we are doing leave-ins. We've done the deep conditioners. So now the leave-ins, this one here, just found this one um the main choice soft as can be you guys were the ones like we say the information is exchanged equally mm -hmm. we tell you things and you respect that you guys tell us things and we definitely respect that and a lot of you guys mentioned we would we've done numerous main choice videos and you keep saying try this try this one and like we're gonna get to it eventually the day came when we were doing the mix it up series that we have on our channel yeah and i needed something and i was just kind of like closing my eyes and just grabbing things so i'm like oh today i'll do this and put this in a video and I love this. What is um, this? Is the <laughs> I know you have to always remind me. I get off on a tangent. This is the main choice. Soft as can be. This is the three-in-one conditioner. Okay, revitalize and refresh, and it's 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 wonderful. Um, I don't use it a lot because the bottle's so small. Now, why I say that I don't know because it's no smaller than anybody else's bottle. But why it's the fact it feel that, that it's the so fact small? that it can be used for three different things. It makes me nervous. It just makes it like seem like it's that much less product. Yeah, yeah, it, it does because all right, if I co-wash my hair, are you kidding me? You see all this density. Like I go through like most of this bottle, then to do a conditioner and then a l then rinse it out put it back yeah, yeah. it's too much yeah so too it's much. too much so um i use this only as a leave-in right now yeah I, I don't even think right now i could even use it as a co-wash because i love it so much and i don't want to go through it there's yeah. plenty you of have to pick to it can be used from. for three different things but you need to pick one you have to pick one or you're gonna go through it yeah yeah, you have to yeah. but this is great so this is the the, the main choice um the three in one love this you guys told us about it and we got it okay but well, we used it we already had it <laughs> So another leave-in is the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. This is a great moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Again, like I feel like my conditioners on my side are like on the lighter side because too many heavy creams right. can like it's too much for my hair. My hair looks flat and I like more volume. Yeah. But I guess I should be thinking more about moisture than volume this winter because I do have highlights in my hair. So I need to think about that as far as moisture goes. But this is again on the lighter side. Um, but it is moisturizing and it would be great under a cream. Or, okay. you know, a moisturizing gel or something like okay. that. Okay. But, yes, as I am leaving conditioner. Okay. And so these two, let me just throw them in because they're both by Sotanicals. So this is the one that was compared to the not sauce that I brought up. They said that this is even more, more moisturizing than this one. So um, it's wonderful. More moisturizing, in my opinion, 
the probably the loyalist is coming out I mean I love that sauce I love that so um they're equally as good I don't like comparison I don't like comparing kids I don't like comparing things like everybody has like stand on your own so this is wonderful for what it does it, it slip moisture okay that I don't need to compare it to that um, if I forget to grab this one I grab this one or this one's in the bathroom fine I use this wonderful they're both wonderful and then this one is Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave-In just as fabulous these are just great um so Tanticles has nailed it it has nailed it I think it has blown every brand can I say if I will can I say that I will say it. I did say it and I'm going to stand by it I think they have blown every natural brand out the water they're fabulous okay, wait, conditioners. Wait, wait, wait. oh as far as conditioners go yeah, as far as oh conditioners okay so let's not jump out the window well, but <laughs> yeah I know right, you me, opened it I know, one I, leg I know, is I, out I, know, I get a little carried away guys okay it's a bold statement to make and probably I'll regret it later on probably not but I never regret anything really no you but see, anyway, you said what you said I say what I say okay and so um I just think that their conditioners are fabulous and I can't stress that enough and so these are just two more examples of their leave-ins and they're all interchangeable. I don't kind of like stick to this. I don't do like sets. This goes with their uh, blaze, blaze, and this goes with their, you know, clumpy curl. No, I just grab what I grab and use it with every brand, and I just love these. That's that. Did you okay. say clumping curls? Clump. Is that? Is that? That's dark and lovely. Oh really? No, I didn't say pumping. I said clumping. Clumping curls. Don't. I, what? So Tanicles does have a clump, clumping curl. Don't they have one in the jar? The custard? Oh, clumping custard. I don't know. Okay. Guys, you know me and Nate. Okay, same thing. It's clumped. It's clumped. It clumped our hair. I think in our last Sultanicals video, someone called it the frozen uh, slip. What, this, the frozen dip and slip? Yeah. She called it like the frozen it. drip drop gel. Oh, like, like, I was dying. No judgment zone here because you guys know we never get names right or anything. We so never get I hear right. you. I see you. I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, another leave in that I have here is the ORS for naturals, the olive oil. Uh, olive oil for naturals the butter whipped leave-in conditioning cream this is a leave-in big jar i got it off naturally curly for 5.99 and it's it's like one of those like thick um leave-ins oh, it smells so good and it has slip and I, I just love the big jar i smell things yeah it smells so good i just love the big jar of things for 5.99 and it's a good leave-in so yeah leave-in cream this is like you know one of those thick ones so. yeah and i like just like you said the big packaging yeah it just feels like, like that. it's gonna have a lot to use okay and so this is um brand new making its introduction to the in our channel because i'm doing like i did sotanicals i'm collecting right now i'm um, all the allocate things and so a lot of people have come in the comments and said try the allocate a lot of you guys initially said allocate 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 months ago try allocate and it's just like cha-ching 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 mm, like yeah. like we had so many things here it's just like no we're not doing allocate but then i just started thinking okay we need some we need to shake up the channel we need to do something something new and it was time to cha-ching shop again and so and you I did you pulled the sultanicals the other day i did pull the sultanicals the other day on i the hope they're not gonna website. pull the sultanicals and i'm still waiting for my stuff but um, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming tomorrow, actually. And so, um, yeah. And that's all I'll say about that. It's coming. All right. Okay. <laughs> and so I bought quite a few things. Um, some things you can find in Target. This I got in Target. And something else I'm getting ready to show you over here. I got in Target. Um, the refresher I got in Target. So there are some things, but to me, they're like the standard allocate things that will be on the ground, as I call it. And anything else that you want. Like I wanted to see and feel and smell the parfait and the gel and all that, the berry gel. And those things seem to be impossible. I did a wild goose chase one day, as I do when I'm trying to collect the line. And they're like Pokemon cards. You gotta catch them all. <laughs> I'm so I'm running everywhere like CVS here, burning up a tank of gas over. Like I could have just ordered it, and that's what I came home and did. And so, but anyway, I have not tried this yet, but it's added to the collection because anything else I've used in this line, I have loved with all my little heart. And so I know I'm gonna love this, and yeah. you guys love it. And so if you guys love it, I love it because we're all pretty much similar in what in our taste so you recommend things based on what we say and what we do and what we put in our hair so yeah. you guys know us so if you and it was mentioned it, it was mentioned as a great mm -hmm. leave-in moisturizing winter leave-in so I'm yeah we have that we got lemongrass it must be so popular because when I went to go order on their website I like that that's the thing about their website that you can get things standard size which to me this is standard this is your normal standard eight ounce size and then they had like a little travel size so cute that was a little bit cheaper and then they had um, a big size that I've seen in Target, $19.99. This is like $12.99. The little size is $5.99 on their website. I've never seen it anyplace else. The big size is $19.99, and I think it's maybe 20 ounces, something like that. And then there's this like gallon, literally like a gallon size, mm -hmm. $169. Wow. Okay, so um, I, I, I don't know. I don't need all that. Like this, this is good enough. Um, and so I can't wait to try the Alcay line. I'm trying it now, actually. So yeah. 
that, right. that included. Are we ready to move on to like just, um, we have some creams here and just some wash and go combos that worked for us last winter that we yes. will be using this winter again. We wanted to show you guys, so should we do that? Yeah, we should probably do the wash and go combos. Like we believe that these are wash and goes that will work for you this winter we believe that uh, well we're looking forward to using these because we used them last winter they were successful yeah and this is about the season we're going to start rolling them back out again not necessarily for videos because we have videos on mm -hmm. these but just they're heavier textured creams and we feel like these are more winter friendly based, winter friendly exactly yeah okay want to start with that okay so one of the things i raved about last winter was the apple and aloe talia wahid and this was the leave-in. Yeah, that's the curl two. definer and the leave-in. So yes. this is like a really thick cream. It's very thick. Very thick. And in the video, we show you how we dilute it for our hair type. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it's don't, very thick. Don't let it scare you. Like I said um, a little while ago, don't. I don't like to type and texture hair um, and say this is for fours, this is for threes, because I think anybody can make anything work. Mm -hmm. And so we made this work. It was very thick, but we just put it in our hand like a dollop put it in and then sprinkled water on it and then kind of like mixed it and then just applied it to each section. It might be a little bit more time consuming as opposed to a product that's designed for your type hair, but if you like it, you like it. And I loved it. I love the way it smelled. So that's why I wanted it and I, and I made it work for my hair and it did work and it gave us a fabulous, fabulous wash and go. Yeah, it was good. And I used it with this. Now, now that we do mix it up, I don't know if it, I'm sure it will. I don't want to um, put that doubt there. I'm sure that this will work with any other leave-in. This just happened to go along with the collection and it worked good and you can keep smelling like apple and aloe all day. But if you <laughs> don't have this, like no worries. I think anything would work. This probably is the, is the, um, the winning one. What, what, what do they always say? I don't know, whatever. This is, this main is event? The main event. The main event. This is the main event. So, um, but the two of them together are beautiful. Yeah, because um, when we did it, we could barely get the leave-in in our hair because it, yeah. it was like a spray, and so yeah. we were trying to like spray it in our hands. But basically, the main event was the the curl definer. This is at the time when I didn't do watery kind of leave-ins or sprays or refreshers. I've actually this summer have used this as a refresher, and it's worked. Um, though it's made my hair a little bit more producty feeling than I would like for the summer, but um, it is to me liquidy enough to work as a refresher. Okay. But anyway great wash go for the winter okay so another one is the cream of nature pure honey moisture whip twisting cream and I actually use this in the summer but I definitely plan on using it in the winter as well it's just a really great thick cream it's a one and done I absolutely love this cream it smells good and um, it gives me like a five day wash and go like I it as a one and done and so this is amazing and I, I don't this. know why this is sitting on the table and I don't remember the video and I didn't see it and now I understand why channels will say things like that I'm like well just go look at it or if you don't know the name of it go grab the name why start filming if you don't know all the details but here I am being a youtuber and not knowing the details why this is here I don't know but I love it and so I wonder if in that video it's I here because you used, used it with this I did okay so you said it was yeah. one and done and so I didn't use it as a one and done then. no I must have used you, it you, with this. yeah so there's yeah. a leave-in okay yeah, yeah and, and I love you can this together leave -in. yeah so I must have done that back then you did because I ran and grabbed it today and I'm like wait wait it goes with this and you're like but you didn't use it that way yeah but I you did, did and in the video I loved it and yeah. I loved the way my wash so if you out. need I guess a little bit more even though I think this is a lot um you love the two of them together. They can absolutely absolutely be used together, mm -hmm. or this can be used by itself. Yeah, yeah. And my hair was nice and big, and I didn't think you do have that video on the channel and an updated thing. video. Yeah, yeah. we, we, we show you day three, three. update. Yeah, yeah, we did. We so did. love these. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do you want to talk about this one? Your so, number one. Okay. All right, guys. So we're getting closer and closer. Drum roll. But anyway. Here it goes again. This was kicking off the year last year. This was the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk line. Um, this was the hydra uh, Hydrated Curling Cream, but this is the leave-in. Same line, of course, same, same packaging. This was my winter collection last year. I loved it so much that I had to buy it and put, like, to hide it by my bed. You know how I do, guys, hide things. Yeah, you were able to take that to your room. I was, and like I said, nothing topped it. I said, I don't know if it was the mindset during that time because my hair was cut and this was the first time I saw progress. That wash and go to me was fabulous. It's on our channel. Mm -hmm. To me, I said, this is the one to beat this year. We have gone through a gazillion brands this year and a gazillion styles and products and all of that. I'm not saying, I'm not taking anything away from the wash and goes we have done throughout the year, but something about this cream of nature coconut milk line has stood out in my mind and this is the one to be and I have not found it. A couple of weeks ago um, one came sneaking in and so I have to give it a second look 
and I'm probably going to have to do this again, like redo on our channel just to kind of like test to see. But the one that came sneaking in was the Cantu Curl Detang Curl um, Activator. Curl cream. Activator. Loved that. And I said, that or these these are going to be the number one for the year of 2018, the number one wash and go on our channel. Mm -hmm. um, and so right now this has held its place since January of 2018 and we are now in October. Two more months, Cream of Nature. Hang in there. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> another one and done. I'm big on one and dones. I love one product wash and goes. And again, I told you guys I like volume so in the winter time yes. it's hard to not use heavy creams because things just like weigh my hair down really fast and yes. I don't like that like perfect look a uh, perfect look but this we tried as a one and done and mm -hmm. we were pleasantly surprised and we loved it it was the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream uh, yes. Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter and it's absolutely like a styling cream although it's like super thick yeah. we use it as a styling cream and it was like one of my favorite videos one of my favorite wash and goes that we've done Ooh. Because it's amazing. It, because the word butter was there, I'm like, is it a double butter? Is it yeah. a Miss Jessie's baby butter? Butter cream? I'm like, what is it? And so we read the directions on the back and we figured we could use it as a one and done and we did and it was, it was beautiful. Amazing. Actually, I was the one that grabbed it from the shelf to put it on the table. You ran out of products? Um, yes. Okay. She ran out of products. Okay, so yep, I co signed that one. You co signed yes. this one. Totally love that. Can't wait. I got so excited when I started seeing these creams today. I'm like, oh my gosh. All the possibilities are endless, guys. Yeah. Endless. So endless. these are just some of the creams that we are going to be using in the winter time. Are you mm -hmm. going to talk about this one or not? Yes, I'm going to talk about this one. Okay, so Jane Carter Solution, the yellow line, the sunflower line, the original line. These two, we have not showcased this wash and go on our channel. Why, I don't know. I've talked about it on our live feeds. I've talked about it on um, our channel from time to time. I have not showcased it yet. I want to, but these two together. And when you get instructions from the brand or the company or the maker of the products, it's even better. And so I don't know how people were doing this or how they were using it, but I was told that this this is called the Jane Carter Solution Condition and Sculpt. And it's, it's watery. Watery. It's clear. It's watery, but it has the gel consistency kind of on a very, once it dries once it dries and it's yeah. um it's a very watery kind of a gel almost like a jelly um almost like a serum kind of a thing but this is like a primer you put this down first which was very interesting to me because you would think that it would be in reverse but it's not it was instructed that you put this down first as the primer and then you follow it with this and which this is what and this okay and then this is the curl defining cream there's one in a tube that you like and the incredible curl cream yes that one to me is a little lightweight and I don't know maybe because my hair is so dense um because you guys have said my hair is finer i don't know if it is or if it isn't but my hair is very dense and i like lots of heavy creams and so this i love this combination here together i love and this would be like a winter um these are two winter products that i would put together and have a great wash and go okay. so um these are winter wash and goes to me and of course no winter wash and go would be complete without camille rose naturals um this is the Jai Twisting Butter, and this is the Curl Maker. Have a video on the channel of this and the successful results. Winter products, actually, and they actually were summer products too because they have no glycerin in them and they both work. And so supposedly, like, you don't get uh, the frizz and all that, but there's more to this whole glycerin and, and humidity and frizzing and all that thing, yeah. whatever, but it was given as suggestions for glycerin free so you could use them year round i would think but mm -hmm. um to me this was reminiscent of winter products because they're so thick and heavy at least this one is mm -hmm. um so yeah can't wait to do this wash and go this winter okay okay so just some honorable mentions as far as gels go everywhere we were kind of looking and researching about products to use in the winter time they didn't mention gels but some people need gels like i know i love a good gel um, but in the winter time, gels can be a little drying depending on the gel. But here, we just have like a few here um, as honorable mentions that we think are moisturizing gels that could work yeah. in the winter time. Um, starting yeah. with this one, yeah, they kind of stand out to us as a more moisturizing yeah. than most. And so um, this one here, Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic, mm -hmm. often compared to Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker. Yeah. When we did the comparisons, we have a video on that one as well. We um, found that this one slightly eked out not taking away from from Camille Rolls curl maker love that one but when we we were kind of like putting them under a microscope to see 
what was the difference because we heard there were so many similarities and we had to kind of like make that judgment call and we felt like just slightly just slightly, have slightly. Little bit some, some, something something more yeah, a little bit shinier, yeah. a little bit more moisturizing i don't know but um so this in our mind registers as more moisturizing yeah that gel and then um this isn't really a gel but it acts like one mm -hmm. the the main choice the tropical moringa pearly braid out glaze um, it's blue and it's definitely very moisturizing moisturizing the touch moisturizing moisturizing in your hair yeah this is great and it smells good yeah oh wow i can smell it over yeah. here it smells very, so good very cool yes. very cool product yeah um want to do this one okay <laughs> it's like like easter egg coloring like you want to color this easter egg like the mom handing out like what they can color but i can read for myself okay, okay all right as i am curling jelly and it's just in the category because it's a gel we're just giving you options so <laughs> moisturizing moisturizing gel. it's a good one curling yeah. jelly yeah yeah and then the last one is the eden body works hydration serum the almond and marshmallow hydration serum yeah. and um to me it's not as really a serum it is a gel, it's a gel. it looks like a gel it acts like a gel it leaves a cast on your hair yes. like a gel but it's um it's very moisturizing and it does come like with a leave-in there is a leave-in in the line mm -hmm. that you can use with this and um it's great yeah so yeah. i really like this serum your hair is very shiny check out our video on the eden body works almond yeah. and marshmallow it's a great yeah. trio we were so line. confused because what, what's it called it was called it's hydration stuff. serum we're like what is hydration serum but well, when like, we start not pouring like serum. it in our hands it is simply a gel like yeah. you said it looks like one it acts like one for it must be a it's dot. like a hydrating it must gel be a dot. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah but like when we yeah. when it dried there was like a cast on our hair we were like yes. okay but there was shine and yes go check that video out this yes. is a very very cool product seven mm -hmm. bucks too and there's a leave-in and then there's also i have since i have it on the table a hair mask in the line so it's yes. like a little trio and which is great yeah it's, it's just a great line eating body works yeah yeah okay okay um yeah. do we want to move on to some oils Oils are Why important. Why not more things to seal your hair? hair. Because yeah. that's another uh, little tip that we want to give you in the winter time is to seal, seal your, your hair. hair. Sealing your ends, sealing all of your head. I typically seal all over my head. Yes. Um, or I used to. I got away from that. I used to always take a glob of coconut oil and like put it all over my hair at the end of like my wash and goes. Yeah. And I stopped doing that. But coconut oil is actually not an oil that was in the lineup for, yeah, that they for winter. For winter use. Yeah. Right. But yeah. one is shea butter, which you have. Yes. One Over that here. they recommend for sealing and that's very moisturizing is shea butter, any kind of shea butter. I searched high and low because I wanted the yellow one. <laughs> I'm just like that. And it wasn't anything like that was special. I mean, I just wanted the color yellow for no particular reason. So this was just called 100% African shea butter and it's yellow. And what I do with shea butter is, I don't know if we ever really kind of like talked about shea butter on our channel, but oh my God, it's like, I don't know if it smells so good as much as it, it works good and it comes differently sometimes it comes in a block and i used to have to like cut it or pull it apart from the block or it came in a bigger container and i kind of like scraped it out this happens to be a little softer i don't know if it's because it's african shea butter i don't know if they all are african i don't know that much about shea butter i do know that i put this in my hair and i do mean i put this in my hair i section my hair in bits and pieces go down the middle parted here and then like just keep parting and part and just really saturating my hair for shea butter mm. and I don't know why I didn't read it anywhere I people might do that I don't know what to do with shea butter but I do know that when my hair is very dry in the winter time I will do that and then finish it off with a plastic cap and sleep on that throughout the night the next morning almost like a pre-poo kind of a thing but um when your hair is very dry Which in the technically winter time, that is a pre-poo right is, yeah would it be a pre -poo? yeah yeah if you're um, taking an oil or that, well in that case it's a butter it's but a butter same yeah. kind of concept very right um yeah you have to go very light-handed if you want to take it outside of that kind of a treatment arena i think i would put a little bit in my hands and probably go lightly on it but I don't know because the next thing that I found recently that to me is just neck and neck with it, they look very similar, the same color, everything, is the Alake Shea Yogurt. A very thick product and last Friday on our live, I don't know, I mean years from now this could still be running on YouTube, but anyway, last Friday was, we were in October of 2018 and I just went to town on this and my hair was not weighed down for this at all. I loved this, it's yellow, it is, and it's called Shea shea yogurt and i love I, today ran it through my hair two or three times today it's very thick very yellow 
love that and they say start off very easy it's so soft start off very lightly and, and then work your way up nope not me scoop right in d d dove in head first <laughs> dove in head first <laughs> and i've been slathering my hair with it love this stuff okay so so yeah they recommend shea butter they also recommend jojoba oil which we have here we have it by silk elements i know they sell these in sally's these little dropper things that have oil in them oops yeah. <laughs> that have oil in them they also recommend well, i took some notes um okay. um babasu oil olive oil mango butter jamaican black castor oil and avocado oil wow. so those kind of oils get your hands on those oils and those are good for the winter time jamaican black castor oil that's a really thick heavy oil yeah to i heard i'm to seal or like get in your scalp with yeah which does stimulate growth and definitely yeah. moisture because that um Jamaican black castor oil is no joke. No, it's that not. stuff is thick. Yeah. So and, yeah, and it does work for growth. Absolutely it does. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think that's it as far as products go. They did give some other kind oh, of. What about refreshers? Yes, some other okay. kinds of tips, which goes along um, with winter some of the winter regimen. tips. Yeah. Yeah. So one of them was to refresh your hair during the day, meaning like I guess take a refresher spray throw it in your purse bring it along with you and just kind of spritz your hair throughout the day if your hair is getting dry so we brought some of our favorite refresher sprays on set yeah and you guys know same philosophy i would spray it on my hair and don't touch just it, it just let it soak in and then if you want to kind of like arrange and fluff in three to five minutes go ahead do mm -hmm. not spray and do that you will you will frizz out your hair so treat these refresher sprays that we're going to show you the way i've explained in um one of our videos about refresher sprays yeah and so show them all or just um, yeah go yeah, ahead okay all right so right here top of the list it's worked its way up throughout the video allocate naturals <sighs> love this um I've, i just discovered this last week and i've been using it ever since i have refreshed my hair today with this what do we have in our hair today um, I feel bad saying what I have in my hair today because it's not a good representation okay. and it's not its fault. It's the weather that's been really yeah, bad. It's been so humid. But I actually have the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter and the Curl Maker in my hair. Okay. It does give me a better wash and go than this, but it, I guess it did not hold up in the rain at all. This is day two of that wash and go, and um, this is not a great representation of it, but that's what's in my hair. Okay, yeah, the, the weather is what it is. What I have in my hair is the uh, main, main choice. choice. Do it for all the culture. It's not on the list in any category yet because we're still kind of experimenting with it, though it has risen to the top with me in the whole line, all the lines. Yours is the Moringa, Tropical Moringa, Tropical Moringa and to me, this Do It For The Culture, this is like my third or fourth wash and go, and I love it, and it's always consistent, it's always big, it's always curly, it's always easy to refresh. So this is what's in my hair, and I've refreshed it today with this Wake Me Up finger coiling on my hair, and um, I love this, though in the past I have sworn by and still swear by of uh, Sotanicals, it just depends. You know, sometimes I'll just kind of like wake up, spray this all over my hair, let this sit in, and then use this. They say spray it. I don't know how you could possibly spray it. It is so thick. It's concentrated. It's the very, stream, it comes out like a stream. Yeah, there's no way in the world to me I would do it that way. So what I do is I spray it either in my hand and then like dab here, or put it like in a little cup or plate to the side and just keep dipping my hand in and then just finger coiling my hair. Finally at the end, I might spray this two or three times, rub it together, thin it out and then maybe just kind of like go through my hair like that and that's what I did today on top of the finger coiling on top of all of this I mean I just you love products I love products okay and then the last one is um, I don't know if I've mentioned this a lot I've mentioned it in the curl junkie video but this is the one maybe perhaps I started learning how to let things be spray and let it be I might have credited Sotanical spray with that it doesn't really matter who taught me the idea of spraying and letting it go mm -hmm. but this definitely this scared me to death years ago when I bought it because I just love products and I was just spraying and spritzing and had no knowledge and just spraying and spritzing and, and, and rubbing my head together and just making a frizzy mess, but I just love products and I just love saying I had curl junkie curl fuel. But this is so this is so desirable to have a um, a refreshing day the next day. Spray this first and use it just the way I have said how I use this one. It's equally to me as good. If I can say that, this ekes it out of course because I always rave about this one, but um, curl fuel I believe it's what taught me how to do what I did because one too many times I sprayed it in and touched in a mess and then one time I, I sprayed it in, got distracted really quick when I came back, beautiful refreshing day and I'm like wow maybe that's the trick, bing, uh, ding, like clicked. So Curl Fuel, Curl Junkie Curl Fuel is um, another curl enhancing spray, love this. Okay. So those are my three 
right here to round the, up. The three I brought is my number one, which is the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Leave-In Conditioner. I use this as a refresher spray. Absolutely love this. Smells amazing. It's affordable. This is great. I go through bottles and bottles and bottles of these. Um, the second one that I've been loving recently is the Cantu for Naturals Coconut Oil Hold and Shine Mist. This is like a refresher spray and um, I like it because it's milky so it has some like substance to it and it does definitely refresh your curls, get them together, just kind of throw it in your little purse, <laughs> pull it out when you need it and spray it around your head, you know, during the day in the winter time. And then the last one which I love is the Main Choice Tropical Moringa, the Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Restorative Spray and it smells amazing. And um, it definitely, you know, hydrates your hair and just kind of gives it that extra something when it's looking real tired. Okay. So these are the refresher sprays that we have. That is a suggestion that they give in the winter time is to refresh your hair I during the day. I used that when the collection came out, the Tropical Moringa, mm -hmm. and I didn't have the skill set yet to know how to spray and leave it. So it doesn't stand out in my mind as that, but I'm definitely going to try that as a okay. spray and leave it and just try that to see does it work as successfully as these other ones I have out here spraying and leaving and then going back like three to five minutes later mm -hmm. so so they talk about um, just some other tips before we go um, the health of your hair and they specifically talk about the ends so again we talked about sealing with oil they do mention staying up with trims in the winter time keeping your ends healthy you were just telling me the other um, today actually you had you wanted to get with my ends because my ends needed some help yeah and along with that goes with um, Detangling, make sure you're using the right tools yeah. and when you're detangling, you know, the right brushes, your fingers, whatever, take your time because split ends, breaking off your ends, that kind of thing will cause dry ends and your hair will be dry. Take so your time. Take your take care of your ends. Yes. Definitely. Take your time. And then they mentioned other things like the lock method which we haven't done on this channel though we were saying today that it's either liquid or leave-in right uh oil and cream that's like the order of how you apply products yeah we said we should do a video Definitely. try it try the lock method on yeah. the channel but they say that for the winter time right the lock method. and some brands i think dark and lovely has a lock method collection mm -hmm. and i thought it was just a, a lot of hype and unnecessary things to buy because once you know what LOC stands for you can do it yourself Make with your the own. products that you Mix desire to use yeah so it was nice I bought them but I believe I returned them because um, <laughs> the idea of it I felt like it was just gimmicky I felt like I could do it myself and I believe those were in a positive but I love that that they were. conditioner yeah um, you know yeah, when people say um, oh Taylor you're so pretty and you are too mom or they'll say mom you're so pretty I love that lipstick and, and Taylor I like your lipstick too like all right <laughs> All right, so I don't have to say that I like the deep conditioner just because I'm saying that I don't like the lock method. The deep conditioner stands on its own. Love it. Didn't care for that um, little lock gimmick thing. Yeah. Because we're going to we're gonna show you guys how it's done yeah, on this channel. We're going to try to do it on this channel. Yeah. Not try. It's not that hard. Just grab a lick, yeah. some liquids, some leave-in, yeah. some oil and a cream, slap them all in your hair and hope right, for the best. Right. <laughs> okay. And the last thing, um, well, actually, it's probably the last thing, um, is protective styling, buns, braids, twists. I guess um, less manipulation of your hair in the winter and those styles can maybe last days because you want to wash your hair less in the winter time. We don't really protective style because they, they tell you to protective style in the summer and they tell you to protective style in the winter. You were like, when can you ever wear your hair out? Right? Like you're protective styling all year round. Like so, right. but they do mention protective styles in the winter time. And um, something else that they mentioned lastly is uh, satin pillowcases, satin bonnets, moisture you don't want to sleep on cotton pillowcases cotton bonnets not using microfiber towels you know terry cloth stuff that will dry your hair out so okay. microfiber towels satin pillowcases satin bonnets oh, to sleep you said, on you said not using microfiber towels you mean using microfiber towels not terry cloth not towels. terry cloth okay yeah terry right. cloth will dry your hair out it sure will take every drop, drop of, of moisture, moisture. take it all head yeah we'll take it, it all mm -hmm. so microfiber towels satin bonnets satin pillowcases just anything, you know, you want to think winter, moisture, 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 keep the moisture in your hair. Yes. That's the yeah. goal. Yes. So I think that's all we have for you. Mm -hmm. um, in this video, this is our Macro's winter hair tips and, and tricks. Tricks. Part one, one or the beginning or I'm sure this is not the end of it. This is just kind of like to give us all like a kickstart, though it's not, not really winter yet. But, you know, we're getting into that season. The weather's changing. Yes, it this, is. This more or less is the up. idea of the weather changing. Mm -hmm. So um, it's time to like to bring up the heavy duty stuff or the heavier yeah. products. But this doesn't mean that this is the last we're going to talk about it. No. We are going into fall and winter and these will be the products we'll be reaching for and talking about and discussing and throwing them and mix it ups and different combos. So, yep. The season has arrived, guys. Yes. The season has arrived. Season has arrived. <laughs> okay. So I think that's it. 
Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment mm -hmm. down below your tips and tricks and, you know, yes. what you think of this Yeah, video. keep the conversation flowing down below. In the comments. Love a conversation. Love, love it. Love it because yeah. we learn from you. You learn from us. Everybody yes. learns from each other. Yes. And it's just a lot of give and take. One great big happy macros family. Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.